Hey, Thomas, how are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Hey, man, boy, we have quite a week, uh, our weekly grab bag show, uh, a bag to unpack here for sure. Uh, we were I was kind of getting a little foamy there uh, in, in our little uh, off uh, off chat uh, conversation there. So I apologize for my, uh, my belabored points. But in any case, this is uh, Mike uh, and Thomas with the first last of the nerdum. And uh, mm -hmm. this is our weekly grab bag show. We've got boy, we got quite a bit uh, to hit on. But first, I just want to uh, uh, shout out to our last show where we cover the good, the bad, the ugly, going mm -hmm. through the ins and outs of that. And also, I believe, Thomas, you have a, uh, a thing that you wanted to, to mention to the audience. Uh, regarding yeah, <laughs> the uh, whole good, bad, and ugly. Um, if you're uh, uninformed, it's uh, called a spaghetti western uh, because it's uh, an Italian western. Back in the day um, when westerns were popular, um, the uh, Italians had their own um, film companies and they, they uh, made their westerns. But they also made a, a lot of different movies. And uh, my idea was uh, to do a tour of Italy, much like uh, Olive Garden's uh, <laughs> selection, uh, which is uh, a variety of different cuisine from Italy. We'll do that in the form of films this month. Uh, so it's the tour of Italy. And again, if Olive Garden wants to sponsor us, uh, we're open uh, <laughs> for dis discussions. You know, just lavish us with money, and and we'll we'll uh, we'll talk. Uh, but yeah, so. Uh, the first was the the good, the bad, the ugly, which is the uh, spaghetti western, as we said. Uh, sure. Great movie. We had a great conversation about it. <clears throat> Next week, I'm picking a horror Italian horror movie, uh, which uh, I have uh, landed on the, the house uh, by the cemetery by Lucio Fulci. So, if you wanted to uh, watch that in preparation for next week, uh, please do so. Our third week of April, we're going to do. A giallo movie, and again, you have to call it giallo uh, with that that inflection, uh, <laughs> as I, I learned from another podcast. Uh, but uh, uh, that movie, we're going to uh, I'm picking Tenebre, which is Dario Argento's uh, giallo, and um, and then the final week, um, you know, we covered we covered the chicken Alfredo, we got our lasagna, we got our chicken parm, uh, we finished off uh, our tour of Italy. Uh, but what's a what's a meal at Olive Garden without your dessert? So that final week, we're picking uh, an uh, uh, Italian gangster movie, which yes. also can be American. We uh, you know with your dessert, you can pick whatever you want. So anything on the menu. Uh, so uh, and I'm I'm leaving that up to Mike. I think Mike also passed it on to the audience there if they have any suggestions. Uh, but yeah, that's our tour of uh, Italy, and. Uh, uh, Mike, are you looking forward to it? <laughs> I am very much. Yeah, this is, uh, you know, uh, the, think of Ital uh, Italy and, and uh, the, the beautiful beaches. Uh, and we are mm -hmm. in the midst of spring. I know you did down mm -hmm. there for you and up, up here for me as well. That, mm -hmm. The weather actually has been very nice the last several mm -hmm. days. So it's just nice to have mm -hmm. that in the, in the month of April here. Yeah. Um, but, what, yeah, I'm looking forward to um, uh, revisiting um, mm -hmm. Dario uh, and uh, also uh, I – I need a little help, maybe, from the community. Uh, if you if you hear this, uh, we don't get too many comments, if any, uh, to be mm -hmm. honest. But that's okay. We're growing all the time. Uh, but if you have some suggestions out there for your favorite gangster movie, whether it be American or whatever, you know, um, you know, should I should I drop it a really lame opinion like Godfather Three was the best Godfather of them all? <laughs> Probably not. That would be a very bad idea. And it's Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, uh, and uh, while we were talking about that spaghetti westerns, yeah, the, the the gangster genre movie has been around for a minute, and I'm sure we'll cover that a little bit. And uh, and yep. I, I yep. I'm thinking of a documentary I'm going to recommend as well that covers the mm -hmm. actual real world Italian mafia in, mm -hmm. in the uh, in the yep. 80s and 90s, I think. But anyway, um, mm -hmm. yeah, this week uh, we are ready to go kick it off here. Yep. And um, uh, oh, and funny. Oh, and uh, well, along with our first lesson, nerdum. Uh, that you uh, mentioned our community uh, oh, because yes. I was going to mention this. Uh, I was watching a uh, Mega Sixty Four as I do every week um, on their podcast, and uh, Derek from there mentioned that any community on uh, YouTube or anywhere on the internet deserves a uh, a name for themselves. Uh, and uh, Mega Sixty Four has their Mega Sixty Four Army. And I, it got me thinking, we don't have a name for our community, and I, I think we do need one. I, I've come up with three suggestions, uh, which uh, I want your input on, since you're the community. Uh, you get to pick uh, what we want to call you. And um, 
my uh, my first one it, it was inspired by us watching the good and the bad and the ugly uh you have all those bad bun uh, banditos uh so i thought we were kind of badass too so i i came up with nerditos uh, nerditos uh <laughs> I I, like i'm kind of yeah i like that uh i also come up with a uh, nerd herd uh with a little rhyming action and also uh nerd syndicate um now i know communities guys on the internet um uh come up with some of the crazy and best things <laughs> ever so uh maybe you have a suggestion out there i just sprung this on mike so he hasn't had time to really think about it uh, but yeah, he, he may have his input as well. So we'll keep you updated. Uh, we'll maybe keep this open for a couple of weeks. And then uh, if we don't hear anything from you, I know, um, you know so, a lot of times silence is consent. So uh, we'll, we'll pick pick one for you. <laughs> silence is definitely an answer, too. That is true. Uh, that, that, that's, my, uh, that's my saying. I like to always say like, silence can be an answer, too. Um, mm -hmm. Yep go from there but yeah uh, so mm -hmm. this week is, is good again i also want to uh, really plug our back catalog um it's growing all the time uh we're 100 plus 116 videos it says um and mm -hmm. 117 by the time this comes out this would be 118 uh, but in any case um go check it out and see uh if we have covered something that you uh have been interested in uh because we have an ever ever pretty eclectic uh uh thing i think we we center on a few pillars so to speak <laughs> little centers of gravity for Yep. Direct vision and creativity and, and writing, yeah. Um, to to genres the genre favorites yeah. for for damn sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I, uh, yeah. You may think we we will start running out of ideas, but man, uh, every every time I kind of start thinking about it, I was like, oh my gosh, we we haven't done this movie. I really want to talk it. about this movie. Oh, and um, now we're not not in uh, any hurry of running out of ideas, but if you guys out there have something. Uh, that you really wanted us to talk about that we haven't yet, uh, throw it out there. Uh, obviously, we're getting better. Um, my, my thumbnails, I do the thumbnails. They, Absolutely. They've, they've, they've kind of grown by inch and inch, uh, getting a little better and better. I think we're really starting to dial in on what our thumbnails should look like. Um, the, the final... Uh, the final boss stage or the Super Saiyan <laughs> stage of our, our thumbnails. So, right on. Uh, of course, they'll always kind of... Uh, uh, get tweaked a little bit here and there, but um, I'm really starting to play with filters and things, and I think uh, that that's a good look for us. Uh, but yeah, uh, again, if there's any suggestions out there, obviously uh, throw them our way. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and then speaking of that, uh, that also bears in mind that we have uh, our our title cards here and a little bit better mm -hmm. setup than it was before. With which mm -hmm. we, and and you know, mm -hmm. Zoom was perfectly and our our. Uh, or banner, <laughs> yep. banner Which, uh, yep. Also, Thomas also made. Uh, so yep. that is our, our iconic brand. Um, and yeah, so <laughs> yeah. I didn't realize we had our um, our font all along uh, when I first did our our banner. Uh, that was the font that we uh, which we finally decided on is is our font uh, for for all of our videos. So yeah, I I. I I didn't realize that we had it. <laughs> I think I, for I, I did it and then forgot which one it was, so it took me a little bit to find it again. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, it's the Brooklyn, the Brooklyn, uh, the ah, free one, yes. Indeed, free one indeed. on on uh, a little, little bit of how the 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 spaghetti's made. Uh, I, I do it on <laughs> on Pixlr uh, if you're uh, nice. ever wanting to play around with thumbnails and uh, yeah, I'm, I like I'm that tool. I yeah, like that it's quick and fast, and you get mm -hmm. in, get out, and you get exactly what you want. And although mm -hmm. I have not dabbled to the level that you have, uh, once upon a time mm -hmm. I used to dabble and and uh, use uh, uh, Photoshop. But we're talking like <laughs> Adobe Page Maker 7.0 or Cork, Cork Express mm -hmm. 7. Point, it doesn't matter. But yep, um, and uh, yep, and you can call us dabblers. Uh, unlike unlike uh, Stuttering John, we don't take offense to uh, being called dabblers. No. Not at all. I'm sure we'll. I'm sure we'll be called. Uh, it's one of these days, uh, if we get if we get sufficient uh, uh, audience, I'm sure we'll be called many things, uh, which is fine by me. Positive <laughs> is fine, uh, but uh, yeah. we try to keep it more on the lighter side. Although mm -hmm. I wish we could, we could continue that uh, throughout today's show, but we we've got quite a bit of things to cover mm -hmm. this week. Without mm -hmm. further ado, yep. Um, as uh, yeah, as as to cover or, or jump into first here before mm -hmm. we get get the chainsaw started. <laughs> <laughs> well, as um, Keemstar on Drama Alert says, now on to the news. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, no, there's nothing in particular I want to cover, but. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, then, uh, we, I was going to say there is some pretty big uh, news that hit the uh, the, the world uh, 
was mm-hmm. a Star Wars celebration. Um, mm-hmm. And um, uh, and then and, and spice spicy alert, and then you might get some spicy opinions on, uh, as we roll into this. <laughs> absolutely, yeah. I just wanted to kind of set kind of set the framework here, and, and then kind of jump mm-hmm. in and out. Uh, and and then uh, there, there's actually quite a few um, Disney uh, D- Disney stuff to cover this week. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, this week, the, the, they had quite a bit of uh, of Disney action going on. Yeah, and I know. I, I know, I know. Mike's our resident um, Disney fanboy, so he'll he'll uh, get us <laughs> narrowed down on on what's good, what's bad, uh, what's to look forward to. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, and and, and I I kind of I try to try to get benefit of the doubt here with this thing, but um, it, it, there's it's severely lacking, and it's not because I love or hate the thing. It's just like I, I just don't know what to make of any of this stuff anymore. But it, without further ado, you know, like we had. Um, I believe three new Star Wars movies that were announced, um, mm-hmm. and uh, as well as uh, a little bit of a bonus thing with Miss um, Marvel, the trailer that happened today, um, which we might cover after hours, maybe or not. Uh, we want to test out another thing, perhaps here in a little bit. We can do that maybe. Uh, but and then the other thing was um, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. Now, did you get uh, any of the? Have you seen any of these trailers? Or, or watched anything. I know you probably uh, Miss Marvel was just released today, um, and I did mm-hmm. watch it. Um, and and I have some thoughts about it. But um, basically, uh, what were your what was your uh, reaction to uh, to the news um, this week? I did I, I did see the Indiana Jones and the AAR, AARP uh, um, trailer, but uh, it was I, I screwed up that one. Uh, Damn it. Uh, retake. Uh, no, um, but yeah, uh, <laughs> watch that one. Um, I haven't seen any of the new trailers. Um, there was a Miss Marvel one today? Yes. Yeah, that was um, the, the one with uh, Rambo. Oh, uh, um, maybe maybe and... we should do a, a react to it Absol- tonight. I think that's a yep. very good idea. I uh-huh. think that's a very good idea. Yeah. It, uh, yep. to, uh, to not, the, there was nothing uh, particularly um, whatever, um, and we can cover that later. <laughs> but um, yeah, yeah. The, the I did watch... Um, I did watch the uh, after action thing of uh, Nerd Roddick and um, they're covering the the trailer. Um, mm-hmm. And I gotta say, like I, I I hate to be like the the inside baseball nerd on top of mm-hmm. already being a nerd, but um, I follow mm-hmm. Overlord DVD um, quite a bit, mm-hmm. and it, for nothing other than it's just entertainment. Mm-hmm. Um, and sometimes it's interesting and of note, and sometimes it's just nothing. Uh, most mm-hmm. of the time, it's just nothing, but. <laughs> there have been valid criticisms from I know several of, of the uh, Lucasfilm, Disney, Star Wars, um, you know, coming out and a, a ba- basically the big three the three big chunks chunks of news are um, you're going to have James Mangold cover a 25,000 years before the Jedi uh, or the the current era whatever um, mm-hmm. like where it was the very founding of the Jedi. And so that's that. Um, James Mangold has been announced to be the the, mm-hmm. the one there. And then, um, and I don't want to do disservice to her name, but there's a, then the next film that was going to happen was supposed to be um, 15 years after the end of uh, of the uh, uh, last uh, Rise of Skywalker film, mm-hmm. um, which famously cap- capstone that whole Skywalker thing, which is <laughs> really it really is not about Skywalkers; it's really about Pal- Palpatine. Mm-hmm. Uh, Palpatine's um, niece or whatever, <laughs> granddaughter, whatever the heck. Um, and you know, no, I'm not really spoiling a five-year-old movie, so uh, apologies there uh, if you're offended. But I, I, I don't think anybody's surprised at that. But anyway, Daisy Ryder's coming back. Um, and then um, also Dave Filoni was uh, uh, said to be the – he's going to be doing a film that basically ends the Mandoverse um, chapter of Star Wars. Um, and that's supposed to be in the next couple years. Um, mm-hmm. so we'll see, um, you know, um, I <laughs> yeah, don't know, I, uh, what, what were your thoughts? I, I'm very anxious to wait. So I set the stage and I, I will tee, let you tee off here on uh, what your thoughts on this. Cause you, <laughs> you are a little bit more forgiving, I think, um, and, or open, maybe not forgiving is the wrong word, but you're, <laughs> you're more open to these things. And I, mm-hmm. I definitely have some, I, some thoughts on James Mangold, who's an outstanding director. And mm-hmm. I, I actually kind of. I'm kind of actually interested in, um, you know, something mm-hmm. completely brand new that has nothing to do with, you know, anything. Um, uh, but what, what are your thoughts on, on all this news? Um, yeah, well, I, I'm, I'm kind of borrowing my opinion from um, I watched a, a video from Comics Matters and he 
he he's, he was laughing the whole time he was uh, giving his his update on it, which I think is probably the best best approach for it. Uh, he said, um, you know, you know, get over get over your idea that Kathleen Kennedy's going anywhere. Right. Um, she has she has the picture. She has the blackmail on uh, uh, several people in uh, at Disney and Hollywood. Um, she's she's not going anywhere. Um, so 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 you know, just buckle in. Uh, and also, he said that you know, used to. He, he's going back and watching a lot of uh, earlier um, uh, Marvel movies and things. Okay. He's gone back and watched uh, the first X Men movies. He's and uh, kind of giving his current day takes on them. And the first two uh, Deadpool movies, he goes, you know, the that first Deadpool movie was made for like seventy five million dollars, and you know it made so much, so much more m money. And now you're spending half half a billion dollars on movies, and mm. just and, and spending almost almost that on advertising, and you're just breaking even. Right. You know, what's what's the sense in that? What are you doing? He said, "Interesting. You're just you're just throwing money out at the world just to throw money, and you're coming up with these ridiculous ideas, these ridiculous things that people used to be anticipate." Oh, the newest Star Wars movie, the newest Marvel movie, but you're throwing such ridiculous things at us that that just have, kind of have to sit back and laugh and just enjoy the the stupidity of of uh, <laughs> of what 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 Disney is doing. Um, you know, you, you you're following up the the worst received. Uh, <laughs> you thought that that um, the prequels of Star Wars the, those those are looked at at now fondly. Uh, compared to the the latest trilogy movies, yeah, the prequels, right? Yeah, the prequels, uh, yeah. And so these these new ones, um, you know, you start off with the 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 feels and got everybody interested in it again with Force Awakens. Um, right. They go, okay, well, that's just a starter. You're just gonna bang it out of the park with the next two movies. Uh, you stumble, felled, and uh, scraped your knee on those those last two movies. And what you should have done was go, okay, you know. Wipe the slate clean. Let's let's start fresh. Uh, but you're coming out with the uh, uh, a Ray Skywalker movie. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> is is there is there any demand for that? I mean, are you are you really taking the pulse of of the fandom, uh, which you've you've uh, antagonized? So you're not going to get a, a clear response from them. Um, you you take something like the Mandalorian, which uh, the fandom kind of forgave you for the Star Wars movies and fell back in love with you. Uh, but now you're taking some weird and stupid angles with the this newest season. Mm -hmm. um, I'll, <laughs> should I talk about the, the newest episode or, or should we wait? And yeah, well, we'll, we'll, we'll get on, into that in, 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 in a, a minute. minute. I, just okay. wanted, yeah, I wanted to kind of cover, because there's a lot to unpack here with this whole, mm -hmm. this whole thing. And and I, as far as it goes, you know, I don't... I, I don't see... I, I don't see that there's a demand. I, I agree with you there. Like mm -hmm. nobody's clamoring for this, but never mind any of that. Okay, let's mm -hmm. just let's just take that this all the movies that they say or they're gonna make good on or whatever, mm -hmm. uh, whatever that looks like. Mm -hmm. um, and I know you've you've heard it and the turmoil that has been like the last you know mm -hmm. whatever. Um, well, and what, turmoil. What I mean by that, I mean um, here's the thing: um, Disney Star Wars has this really bad bad habit. Of coming out forever and announcing a film or a project or something, and then it completely slamming the brake slamming on it and it going poof. Um, that's happened. That's happened the super majority of the time over the last five years. That's just a fact. They've been they they solidly pivoted to Disney Plus or whatever, which is fine, and they got their own little thing going on there, a little little mm -hmm. walled garden that you can feel confident in. Uh, but are these things actually going to happen? Uh, you know, and yeah, yeah, actually, I, I, actually, I, I, I layered that I wanted yeah. it like hammer home, never mind uh -huh. whatever they announce, I don't care uh -huh. what it is, yeah, this or that. They they mm -hmm. haven't made good on any of the things that they've talked about in the last mm -hmm. several years, uh, with yep. the exception of like if Dave Filoni's name comes up for the most part, that has happened, um, uh, but that's mm -hmm. only a fraction of what we, mm -hmm. we have been promised, yeah, um, yeah, and my thoughts on this, well, it. <laughs> I haven't really dived deep into any of this, uh, but my my, you, I'm glad you said that about um, uh, 
things not happening because I, I keep hearkening back to um, the movie uh, The Way of the Gun. Have you seen that movie? I have not. I don't believe okay. I have. It's um, in it. Uh, one, of, one of the best scenes is uh, one of the main characters uh, punches uh, Sarah, Sarah Silverman full in the face. Uh, but <laughs> one of the guy characters. <laughs> right. um, so it, it starts that way. So you know it's a, a good movie. Uh, but uh, <laughs> but but uh, but one of the lines in it, um, the the guy goes, uh, and it's always stuck with me because it it makes total sense. He goes, uh, a plan is a list of things that will never happen, and that's sort of <laughs> sort of what uh, Disney is uh, kind of proven to us over and over again. <laughs> yeah. Right, right, and, and that this irregardless to whether it's Ray or or James Mangold or or Dave Filoni or Kathleen Kennedy, <clears throat> and never mind any of that. Uh, you know, uh, and and, the, and the, I'm not going to get into the, the finer points and the details because it doesn't really matter. I will say, if they only do one movie, if if they were like, if they were to come in and say, Mike, you're king for a day. What what do you what do you want to see uh, happen? And uh, what I would say to that would be, I would say drop all this other shit about the the Mandalorian, uh, whatever. Nobody's nobody's going to care. I promise you. And we'll get that. We'll we'll foreshadow getting into the Mandalorian from this last week. Wacky um, but, Grogu. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait for you to say that again. I love that. I love, I love how you say it. It's hilarious. But if you were to boil all this stuff down, if I were Disney, Star Wars, and I were king for a day, I would just say, uh, put all that other shit off to the side and just do, just let James Mangold run run wild with this Dawn of the Jedi because I think that if they, they have proven in the past, LucasArts has proven in the past, to be popular enough, but definitely at, at not anywhere near the negativity of the current mm -hmm. offerings. But when they did the video game for the High Republic, or, or excuse me, for the Old Republic, um, people like they they the, people were very happy with that. Um, I never played that video game, but it was very very popular, and it sparked its own friggin' you know cult mm -hmm. uh, thing that would be I probably the only. The only thing that would surpass it, I would say, from the past would be um, the expanded universe. Um, mm -hmm. the, the expanded universe had a very dedicated file, and that was probably bigger by absolute volume. But the old Republic video games were very interesting. So there mm -hmm. definitely is good storylines that they could pull from to make that work. Mm -hmm. Since the the uh, the soup of the day is apparently going to a video game and turning into a movie, because and we've mm -hmm. had that we've had, actually had good, which is another connected thing with Pedro Pascal which we'll, we'll mm -hmm. cover too a little bit later on after we cover the Mandalorian. But I would just say if they were to do anything, I, 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 I legitimately would be excited to see something brand new to crack open that door that I have not said that I would do in a, in a long time. Cause I'm just not into it. Like I don't follow it. Like I, I've just kind of fallen off the wagon after, well, after the, the thing, but yeah. it, just kind of sum it up. I, I would actually be really a kind of jazz to see a James Mangold actually come through, write a script in a completely new environment where we're not, we don't, if you want to do star Wars without the Skywalkers, that's fine. Um, but you, mm -hmm. you haven't hit, you haven't hit that, that mark. You haven't hit that mm -hmm. mark. You got close, but you're not hitting it with these, with these, with the Ray right. Skywalker. I don't care. Um, mm -hmm. I don't care. I don't, I also don't yep. care about the Mandalorian, which kind of, uh, I'll let you have your, the final say here. And then we mm -hmm. can move on to the Mandalorian. Cause you, yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, the one thing that sticks out to me uh, like a sore thumb, and I guess this is like a timeline on that picture, uh, yes. but the the High Republic that yeah. has not hit with the fans at all. That no. it came out as a a book and comic book series. Mm. The comic book, I, I don't know if the book series are still coming out, but the the comic books still are. And um, I watch uh, the Comic Book Palace. Uh, he he does a. He owns a comic book shop, and he does also has a YouTube channel where he um, does two two videos a week. Uh, I've recommended him on our channel, uh, but he does a um, kind of uh, uh, on Tuesday he does a rundown of all the comic books that are coming out. He'll, he'll he holds them up, and, and and he's a very opinionated guy. <laughs> he's uh, from East Co the East Coast. Uh, you know those guys uh, have, have some opinions, and uh, he also has one where. Um, it's sort of just a, a camera in the uh, comic book shop, just following around um, 
uh, him and the uh, the customers, and they're just uh, shooting the shit in the uh, the comic book shop there, uh, as they do, uh, much like a uh, Kevin Smith movie, uh, and they have some interesting conversations. But when he on his rundown of comic books, he, he uh, uh, you know you, you DC has their Batman comic books that you know you get like a thousand of each week. Uh, and on Marvel's side, they have a ton of Star Wars comic books, and he always goes through those. And he says on the High Republic, this is the lowest selling comic book uh, on on the the roster for Star Wars. He goes, only the die hard people that just has to have everything Star Wars gets this. Right. And and why you have that even on that timeline. You should just kind of wipe that clean. I'm sure they're going to still try to try to uh, pump it up, but it fell flat with the with the people, uh, the audience, and they really pushed it. So um, again, I, I just, I just, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I just uh, in in the thing that I want to kind of harp on and just kind of mm. pound another nail in the coffin a little bit uh, is. Uh, why do you do that with the expanded universe? Like I, 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 it's one thing to invalidate it. That's fine, but how different would it be if they would have followed a, a loose bl- blueprint for you know after Return of the Jedi era into the New Republic um, in the expanded universe and that and the Timothy Thron, uh, Timothy Zahn uh, trilogy? Um, boy, how how different that would be. Um, that would have been. <laughs> The ideal but you know um <laughs> i don't make the i don't make the rules and maybe they're right to sh- demographic i think that uh, maybe that maybe they know something i don't know and and they and they the, the bean counters can calculate that uh, the shift <laughs> over and losing the old yeah. and and may, maybe well, maybe i'm crazy and there the numbers are there but i don't know about you but the numbers haven't been there um and people mm-hmm. are kind of resentful for like getting punched well, in the face every time they have a like just a small criticism of it, you know. I, I, I they gatekeep yeah. themselves. <laughs> like, that's yeah. what it feels oh. like. I mean, uh, I mean, I don't know how else to put it. Uh, yeah. I'm trying to be positive here, but I would, I would be willing to give like a, a Dawn of the Jedi. Like, I mean, if they, if, if, if the whole point is, is like we don't give a shit about the Skywalker saga, and we're just gonna kill everybody off, <laughs> and like there's no point to that, and then shift over to like you know Palpatine or, or you know another core character. I, I don't, <laughs> I don't have any interest in that. Like, I, I don't. Mm-hmm. Hope Springs Eternal, I guess maybe. I don't know, mm-hmm. but that's kind of dulled quite a bit. I, I hate to mm-hmm. say that, but I'm just not. I just, I didn't. I mm-hmm. and I watched the Force Awakens, and then I watched um, the the other one with uh, you know the killing off of Luke, um, which was dumb. Mm-hmm. Uh, and okay, then, uh, well, well, here here's here's the pitch that I'd be interested in. Okay, sure. So, sure. I, so I'm a I'm a, a Disney executive and a. Yeah, you know, the guys guys doing his speech. Okay, so we'll, we'll picture it. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna just go back with Star Wars. Okay, right. Um, this shadowy figure comes up. He's the ultimate dark Jedi. He's gonna reclaim the Empire. He's right. been he's he's mysteriously disappeared for decades. Right. He's come back. He pulls back his uh, cloak hood. Jar Jar Binks, go go on, go on. <laughs> I'm I'm with you now. Now right. that I I I would I'd be uh, I'd be interested, but uh, but yeah, I, there's. I think that'd be more popular and more valuable. <laughs> I, I I just wanted you know to, just to say like and and not, not to hide anything from the audience or whatever. Not not that anybody cares what I, I think or say, but uh, and that's fine too. Um, you know, maybe you loved all these uh, sequel trilogy ones, but I I I have tried multiple <clears throat> times to go back and i am very forgiving for these things i really am um but like i have tried to sit through and watch the rise of skywalker over and over again and i get bored i i don't know what it is <laughs> i just about 15 minutes go by and i realize like i don't give a shit about any of this storyline because i don't care um because yeah. the last two the first one was uh, re- uh, like uh, arguably and, and fairly criticized as being just a clever remake of a new hope and that's what it was, and that's mm-hmm. fine. They did it well enough. They kind of set the stage though, and then they you're just all you're doing is just bumping down the next mm-hmm. step to down the staircase <laughs> of disappointment. That's all yeah. you're doing. Like, and and yeah. my brother-in-law uh, also has a similar thing. He's even smarter than me though because he just he just is like I'm not I'm 
peace out <laughs> yeah <laughs> not love yeah. not hate like i'm just not interested <laughs> you know and i don't blame them um, yeah. but I, well I with the jazz about any mm -hmm. of this except for like i said i would be willing to give the dawn of the jedi a shot um mm -hmm. but you know you know damn good and well if they're even going to be able to make whatever on their you know announcement <laughs> yeah i'll believe right. it when i see it yeah. sure <laughs> yeah whenever I, whenever i watch uh, rise of skywalker i start thinking do I have schizophrenia? Because um, I just I'm just all, I'm just all over the place. Okay, uh, so uh, so speaking of crazy, um, yeah, we could uh, I could give you my hot take on the the Mandalorian. Yep. Yeah, absolutely, too, because I, I kind of want to bounce some thoughts off of you of like because I've been I've been living vicariously through you, but also through my favorite mm -hmm. uh, you know entertainment mm -hmm. um, TMZ type nerd uh, of the, the nerddom that uh, are very toxic. And uh, and very bad for me. I'm just kidding. But anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, well. I, I, uh, oddly enough, I'm not like uh, right there at midnight on uh, on Tuesday to to watch the latest episode of The Mandalorian. A lot of times, I, I wait a uh, wait a few days. I'm not all excited about it. Uh, it's almost like a like a chore at this point. I was like, mm. okay, well, is this going to be good or like like the previous week or what's going to go on? So and uh um I I'm a, I'm a boomer uh like everybody uh and uh I, I I have Facebook I I look at that and uh I don't know about you uh this this is uh this is my uh old man yelling at the 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 kids in the neighborhood speech uh but I I hate um when um um on Facebook they they start doing all these ads and suggestions oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. to yeah. you as like a lot of nonsense that uh, I, I have no interest in, uh, but yeah. So, so it's a lot of times I don't even get to the post of uh, my friends and and family because I get disgusted and, and throw away the the pad there uh, <laughs> without without going for, forward. But I saw a lot of uh, little suggested posts about oh uh, uh, Queen Lizzo and. Uh, uh, Jack Black is in this uh, newest episode, and I you show a little picture, and I go, "Oh Lord, oh Lord, no!" And <laughs> and uh, and uh, um, and then a, a day or two later, um, they finally mentioned that uh, Christopher Lloyd is is in it as well. Uh, yeah, from from uh, Back to the Future, uh, Doc. Um, so so I realize exactly what they're doing. You throw Lizzo in there for the Zoomers. Oh, you God, throw yeah, yeah. you throw Jack Black in there for the Millennials. Right. You throw Christopher Lloyd in there for for the uh, Gen X or Boomers, as uh, right. as we're known on <laughs> on uh, online now. So you get the feels for all three generations in I this show, and you're gonna get everybody happy, right? <laughs> yeah, I didn't think about that. I did not. I've I've heard many hot takes on the uh, the cameos and how. <sighs> not great they were um or just like what the fuck are we doing here kind of thing um, right well or, you or you had a element of like what what the fuck is okay. going on like wh all right why <laughs> all right so so mike you haven't seen the episode okay how now story-wise it's it's pretty decent let me let me break down the story to you and you tell me whether or not they have a strong <laughs> strong strong base for a story and yeah. how you how you could take a strong base of a story and, and go terribly wrong okay so you've got the the Mandalorian, and uh, you have uh, Boca Raton. Uh, both of them are, um, I think that's her name. I forget. Uh, yeah, but the, yeah. <laughs> but they're they're um, trying to rebuild the Mandalorian Empire. All right. Uh, so she's uh, she needs her forces back. She's abandoned them on a, on a previous season. Uh, they're obviously traveling with a uh, wacky Grogu, uh, <laughs> but but he's he's taking a backseat on this episode. Uh, so it's basically about those two. So they go to the planet that the uh, that her army's at. They've become mercenaries. They've become these uh, bodyguards for this planet that uh, is run by ex uh, imperial who 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 can't have have an army right. uh, uh, for his planet. So um, the 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 guy that runs it with his queen, uh, who's who's born from the planet, and that's how he got. Uh, connected into it uh, they have um some some droids that are acting up not following their their prime directive of uh not harming humans and 
when I I heard that, I started thinking Asimov. I was so disinterested in the show, I started going back and like maybe I should read these robot books. But anyway, so they got that cool idea of these okay. these droids going haywire. All right. Um, so if you fix our droid problem, uh, we'll we'll let you talk to the um, uh, your your um, Mandalorian army, and we'll do what we can to help you. Uh, so you have this the kind of interesting adventure of them uh, trying to track down what's wrong with them. You talk to the Ugonauts. You have to go down and kind of uh, work in their social environment and talk mm. talk in their uh, their social language to get get it done. Um, so so you from that core, it doesn't sound bad. You have you have a, the pieces of it, and a lot of the episode works like. A, like when they're talking to the Ugonauts, that was really engaging and interesting. Sure. Uh, but what you what you've populated it with with these cameos is kind of derail it. You've got Lizzo, who who I'm uh, she, I'm sure she's a lovely lady, and I haven't heard any of her music. I'm sure it's 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 nice, uh, but she can't act. She she <laughs> she cannot act, and. Oh, and, and Wacky Grogu just loves her, and he, she loves him, and they're doing their little thing together, and she's <laughs> holding and petting him. and Okay, and Jack Black is, is being Jack Black. I think right. they said, hey, you don't have to act. Just just be Jack Black. Right. Um, and and I don't know. Jack Black is good in small doses. I, I don't know about you. And then uh, I'm Chris, not a fan, yeah. uh, but, but yeah. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. You know, some people didn't like John Candy, uh, mm -hmm. but whatever, weirdos. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, and and Christopher Lloyd's Christopher Lloyd. He he does a a, a pretty decent job uh, doing it. He looks ancient now, but uh, but yeah, I mean, it, it was nice seeing him. But but it just becomes. You, then you got your uh, your droids doing Roger Roger, and uh, it's like oh. You have a lot of member berries. Oh, there's those those uh, <laughs> you know, battle droids, That's and funny. and the Mandalorians trying to find the bad one by kicking them. I uh, was like, okay, <laughs> right. sure, sure. And then um, there's like a, at the end, uh, you know, uh, Booker Tan has to um, does a does a challenge to the leader of the Mandalorians to regain her her authority on them. And uh, Bryce Howard directed it. I, I I know she's directed before, but the I don't know if action is her strong suit. I, I'd have to go back and look at something else she's done. But the battle between them looked like uh, cosplayers out in the the field out beside a you know a convention center having 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 a, having a, <laughs> having a little little fun uh, battle there. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah. It's, it was, it was very disappointing. I, I kind of knew what I was getting into by seeing all the, uh, yeah. the guest guest stars. And so I was really not looking forward to watching it. <laughs> yeah. 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 So I, I wonder, yeah. Cause I, 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 thanks for the breakdown. I did, um, I did watch an alternative take, uh, from the erotic, um, and he did a, a season recap up to this point. And obviously he's very punchy about stuff because he's very mm -hmm. punchy about his opinion, which is mm -hmm. fine. It was entertaining for, for lack of anything else, but kind of gave me the broad brush strokes of like mm -hmm. what they were doing. Um, and I, I can't help but wonder, I've also heard rumors that Pedro Pascal and, and certain folks just didn't get along and they were looking to like maybe dump him or maybe he'll die heroically uh, or whatever. <laughs> this is, and, and to be fair, this is all speculation. It probably isn't going to happen, but I can't help but wonder if they're going to kill him off. Um, and I only say that because it seems like the commentary that, is, that I've listened to has been, are they trying to like shift this over to be the Bo-Katan show or like, mm -hmm. and then like, she's going to be the new Mandalorian <laughs> or whatever with the uh, little wacky grow grow. And then eventually, <laughs> like, they got to build a connective tissue between that and what they announced with Ray, because at some point, um, grow grew is going to supposed to be, uh, you know, uh, she's the premise is that she's going to bring a new Jedi order into purpose mm -hmm. or whatever in the in the to, the movie that's been announced or that's what's speculated you know that's not far-fetched mm -hmm. um because they got to tie in the end of this mm -hmm. mandalorian thing over to that i guess yeah but i wonder something and you mm -hmm. tell me if i'm if i i because I, I a thought dawned on me because mm -hmm. we're, we're we're very female heavy um with certain things which is fine it's whatever um you know 
Um, I wonder, do they, do they have they actually? I don't mind being female heavy, am I right? Go on. <laughs> yeah. I can't help but wonder, but have they actually show, or said uh, the gender of Grogu? Uh, I want. <laughs> yeah, have they actually Baby Yoda? Have they actually confirmed that Baby Yoda is is a, is a boy or a girl? Like that's the only thing that I don't know. Mm. I, I have to go back and like and look at that. But I I wonder if like oh oh the big season three ending is gonna be, uh, uh Din mm. dies heroically or something like that, and uh, and also that uh you know uh, Baby Yoda is gonna be you know oh, it, oh it's a she. Surprise! Mm -hmm. Wacky, wacky. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, what are your thoughts on that? Uh, all I have to say is, why do you ask? Right. Why do you? you know, what does gender matter? So, <laughs> right. well, it's just a social, <laughs> just a social construct just in your mind. There yeah. is no, there is no difference between the genders or whatever. Uh, whatever. Anyway. Anyway. Um, yeah. So yeah, yeah I, I don't know. It's um, yeah, <laughs> uh, you. Yeah. Yeah, the ABC on how to uh, get someone totally interested in the show and uh, lose it by season three. <laughs> well, and, I, and, to be, and to be fair, I was out uh, in season two, and with the caveat being that if the normies or, or the casuals kind of picked up on it and there was some buzz around it, that hey, you should come back to see this. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like which actually that happened with Andor. To be fair, mm -hmm. to be fair, um, and that was uh, one that people actually really really enjoyed. Mm -hmm. um, you know, but the thing is, is that like I know I, I watched the the last one uh, that set that up, um, you know, from mm -hmm. Andor, uh, where you have you know the Darth Vader scene, whatever. But mm -hmm. it was it was awesome. But like that storyline to me was already closed off. So like I just don't mm -hmm. care, uh, and and I continue to not care about the receding quality, diminished quality, uh, diminished return. Whether you mm -hmm. want to call it woke or anti woke, or there's an agenda, or there's a pattern, or whatever, real mm -hmm. or imagined, doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, the numbers are not there like mm -hmm. they should be for what I guess what their master roadmap was going to be mm -hmm. for this whole thing, which is why they've had to constantly cut and adjust and other things too for whatever reason. Like, if it's not performing and it's not working, like, why, why? Uh, I just don't, mm -hmm. I don't, any, but yeah. anyway. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah, and uh, if, if you're not totally disheartened by uh, Star Wars and what a good suggestion, I would say uh, uh, The Bad Batch, uh, which is good on uh, uh, on uh, Disney+. Plus. It's an excellent show. It's in season two, so uh, we'll, let's get prepared for when season three gets comes out. We'll be disappointed, but, uh, but right now, that's a really good show. Uh, and then um, the the Darth Vader comic book is uh, pretty good too. If you want to go go into the comic book shop and get a good comic that. book, I've heard that. Mm -hmm. uh, I, that's one I need to pick up a uh, omnibus for if they if they make it or compendium, mm -hmm. whatever the hell it is. Um, yeah. that would be good. Like, because I have heard good things about that. Mm -hmm. uh, but anyway, kind of. Um, you have anything else to uh, to uh, launch at <laughs> uh, at uh, Disney Star Wars or or or, yeah. or observations? Uh, missives. Uh, no, there's two episodes left of. Uh, the season of Mandalorian, uh, so um, at least it's not a long season. At least these episodes, uh, you know, on HBO, uh, uh, you know, the, they love to make the episodes like an hour, hour and fifteen minutes. At least with the Mandalorian, uh, you're in and out with between thirty and forty minutes, and uh, so yeah, you, you don't feel like you you wasted a complete hour because you haven't. Right, <laughs> and, uh, right. So, um, and. And it's it is it is fast paced. I mean, even with last week's episode, it was over before it started because you're just <laughs> you're just kind of gasping and going oh and ahs and the, oh my gosh, did they really do that? Okay, yeah, they did do that. And um, yes. that they they have a good eye. Whoever does their um, set design, uh, kudos for them. They they have plenty of money to do do stuff with. But when they go in uh, the hall. Um, to meet uh, Lizzo and Jack uh, Black, those are their name, their characters' name, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, but when they go in there, it's almost uh, an exact replica, but with with a uh, little, little differences uh, to when um, Han and Leia go to meet uh, Lando uh, in Cloud City. It's very reminiscent of the Cloud City um, that that eating, you know, that dining dining thing. Whenever. Uh, Darth Vader and um, 
Boba Fett are there oh, right. yeah, instead, yeah. and and it looks just like that. And I always, right. as an aside, I always, as a kid, I always, always wanted to know what that dinner conversation was like when they sat down with Darth Vader and Boba Fett right, right, <laughs> for, right. for dinner. Uh, I, I made a little comic book strip on that, but uh, it was way funnier, I think, in my head than uh, what uh, what it actually was. But, uh, but right. yeah. <laughs> right on. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah absolutely. And uh, just kind of going into other news, the kind of uh, Pedro Pascal, um, uh, I just I, I saw this and I had to add it. And, and the only reason why I say that is because I can't help but think that Pedro Pascal is like, I don't think that he wants to be tied down for too long. I don't blame him. Uh, and whether he's hard to work for or worth with or whatever or whatever, or it's just mutually beneficial that that or their time is done and they move on. I can't help but think we all know how the video game ended for Last of Us 2. I can't help but think um, that that that's going to happen. Uh, oh yeah, the, it, on the Disney side of the house, uh, Star Wars side of the house with him. I, I'm, I probably won't. I'm probably wrong, but I just can't help but think that, uh, you know, obviously yeah. you know what you're going to get, <laughs> and um, I'm probably yeah. not going to show up for season two or three of this. Um, I got enough from season one. It was perfectly fine. It was actually engaging and entertaining. Um, but as the season went on, um, I just kind of lost interest. I kind of fell off, and like I just don't care to go back and watch it because um, I there, like you. Like wait, wait, game, wait. Mike, oh, there was a sequel to Last of Us. Yeah, <laughs> I don't, I don't remember that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. There you go. You like that, and you're good. You know, it was just one of those properties that just never yep. worked out, and then it just kind of, you know. Yeah, there's, whatever. there's only one season of uh, the Last of Us TV series. I don't think there's gonna be a second season. I don't think. No, they, they, uh, they're pretty sure that they're going to do season two and, and three. But yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, for me, that, for me, that is that is exactly what's going to happen. Anyway, maybe it'll be yeah. good. Uh, you know, if you're a big fan, I, I know that there's going to be uh, a lot more fans that love this yep. than not. And that's yeah. I, I'm just I'm good. just hoping whatever Pedro does, do do like a, a solo action movie. Do do a, a western uh, where you're the lone gunman or something. Do not. Do not, I swear, do not do another TV show or movie with a gifted orphan because I'm tired of those <laughs> Facebook posts that think they're funny talking about, oh, dude, he's uh, made a career with the uh, gifted orphans. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, I've seen that. I've seen that mashup. And like, it's, it, uh -huh. it's, it, 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 it's okay to loosely be tied to a, a thing that obviously mm -hmm. that's the storyline, mm -hmm. but I, I, I just don't, I agree. Mm -hmm. I agree. Like, uh, like it would be <laughs> great to see Pedro, you know, move along, you know, mm -hmm. and, he, and he's a talented actor and I love him. Uh, yeah. you know, like I, 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 there, I have no fault with him. Like, uh, aside from like maybe a stupid tweet or whatever, but I can overlook that. Um, mm -hmm. I don't really care. Like, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't get into the weeds of, of dictating mm -hmm. what, what is and is not, mm -hmm. you know, Mike's, yep. you know, judgment upon whatever, you mm -hmm. know, like if you like it, you like it, you know? Uh, yeah. But anyway. uh, I, I put Pedro Pascal. Um, yeah. He's one of my favorites along with uh, Oscar Isaacs. Uh, I just want them to get away from Disney and, and whatnot and, and do, do, I know they're incredible actors. So do, do right. something cool. Well, Oscar Something, Isaac definitely yeah. has been a, 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 a very good uh, entertainment uh, a guy to watch um, mm -hmm. in Dune. Uh, he 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 is completely and he's he's played other very very versatile mm -hmm. roles and I always enjoy him. Um, mm -hmm. He's gotten definitely away from Star Wars, mm -hmm. uh, and I don't <laughs> see him coming back. Well, obviously there would be no, no yeah. call for it, but like uh -huh. like I, I think he's kind of done, and I think other folks are done too. Um, mm -hmm. And and uh, we'll see, but um, mm -hmm. I just. I don't mind this the content here in like the last of us season one. Um, mm -hmm. Arguably there was, there's like a couple episodes that really stood out and you really had a strong opinion about it one way or another. I have no gripe with that. I just was kind mm -hmm. of bored um, because it's not, not my world, you know, I, I mm -hmm. you move on, you know, and you, just like anybody, you just move on. Like, I'm not going to sit there and harp on it. Like for the mm -hmm. themes, like I just, it wasn't for me, like, but that doesn't stop mm -hmm. me. Um, Disney Star Wars and, and friggin' Marvel uh, taught me the fast forward button, and then I just scrub through until the part that I care about, and then just move on. Because mm -hmm. I'm not sitting there for <laughs> ten hours watching a you know a, a a series that I just don't have time for. You know? like, anyway, <laughs> like we we've kind of covered that at, uh, mm -hmm. in the past. Like I think we we I think we've beaten a dead Wookie. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. 
for sure. Anyway, moving on to um, to uh, more uh, Marvel news. Um, you know, are they gonna? What are they gonna do with uh, the Kang? Uh, and and mm-hmm. here's what they've heard. And basically, um, nobody knows nothing until it happens. <laughs> <laughs> um, his last foray uh, on the, uh, the has Street. has. Uh, I didn't read this. Uh, the, the, so is Jonathan Majors uh, canceled? Is he canceled? Yet? Uh, I, it's certainly it's it's... certainly not looking like it, it in his favor. Um, there, there, the as the story has developed. Nothing it's has not, been like, yeah. yeah there's not been like a, a, a smoking gun for, mm-hmm. so to speak, of his innocence or whatever, or 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 whatever. Mm-hmm. Just yeah. nothing really. The only thing I will say, you know, you're innocent until proven guilty in a court of Obviously, law, and that's yeah. fine. But you yep. know, like, um, it, nothing, nothing is really surfacing that it looks like it's gonna do. But you know what? Ezra Miller is uh, is in the Flash movie, so <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like I, I used to say that you know, get the movie out before he kills a guy. But uh, I think even if he kills a guy, he might, you know, he's still still be in good graces. Yeah, I think that was uh, no matter what they were always yeah, going to make that yeah. demarcation line yeah. to cut off the to cut <laughs> off the old DC and go into the new DC to set up the uh, you know the mm-hmm. next whatever. But yeah, um, you know it, it doesn't look good for him. But you know who knows? Um, the, mm-hmm. I do know that the more money tied into something, the mm-hmm. more likely they're gonna they're gonna just go with it. <laughs> so who knows? But mm-hmm. uh, not looking great. Uh, but mm-hmm. you know, like we'll we'll keep an eye out. I wonder. I wonder, I would love to see a contract. Uh, obviously, we won't ever. Uh, but I'd love to see a contract, a uh, current contract between, uh, say, say one, someone in a, a Marvel movie currently. I wonder if it has stipulations about having uh, rights to their digital image for future oh. future decades. You know, I bet Disney would be would be the kind of operation that you in, in, in you have history with Disney. You have Britney Spears was a in the Mouse Mickey Mouse Club, Justin Timberlake. Like these mm-hmm. these people came back uh, and showed back up um, because they were forever. Like once you're in the House of Mouse, you're pretty <laughs> much you have a pretty damn good thing going on there, probably. Uh, but mm-hmm. I would be interested too to see it. Um, and mm-hmm. famously, to, uh, like uh, Iron Man One was like where it started everywhere. And they they didn't mm-hmm. have the money, but uh, boy, those actors sure they <laughs> they grew up. <laughs> and obviously, uh, mm-hmm. Kang is uh, J- Jonathan Majors is a is a big, very big part mm-hmm. of that. Supposed to be a Thanos mm-hmm. type, you know, level baddie. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, eh, we'll see. Let's but uh, see, any, yeah, yeah, kind of moving on to uh, to some more uh, sad news. Um, I saw you mm-hmm. you share this uh, with. Uh, yep. <clears throat> Yeah, um, yeah. Unfortunately, uh, Rachel uh, Pollock passed away at seventy-seven. Uh, she, I, I loved Doom Patrol as a uh, teenager, and the run I read of Doom Patrol, I thought I'd started with Grant Morrison, but I was kind of mm. looking back, and it was Rachel's run on it. Um, right. She's famously, uh, I think she, she's either one or one of the first or the first. Uh, transgender one woman to uh, write for comics and she introduced the first uh transgender woman in the in the comic book so uh, anyone that said there wasn't rep- representation back in the day we had it back then and i read the comic books i remember the stories uh with uh with the with the character and um i wasn't screaming not in my comic books back then i was reading it and enjoying it so I don't know. <laughs> There's an interesting way of uh, of uh, rewriting history current day um, about how there was, you know, <laughs> particular representation back in the day. Sure, sure. Uh, yeah, they're very cool. She, she lived a very full life. I was just reading some mm-hmm. of the, uh, the, the very cool yeah. stuff. That she yep. Very, very creative for sure. Um, yeah, I'll have to. Yeah, I, I hate. I hate that um, with the current day dialogue, they overlook. Because because they want to make a name for themselves now by saying they're the the first or or we're we're getting represented representation now. Right. They right. I've I, and, and I, I'm saying they because I'm not pointing any fingers. Uh, because right. I I haven't you know, looked into it, uh, a lot, but it seems to me there's a um a lack of history as far as women, uh, and various uh, minorities. Uh, that that wrote and contributed to two comic books back in the day that aren't looked back and celebrated now. Uh, that should be, you know, and you know, Rachel should be way up there. And 
I, I don't hear her name mentioned very much not, at all. Not once. Not once. No, you're <laughs> right. You're right. Uh, and then there's, um, unfortunately, uh, American comic comic books have a tendency to cannibalize their authors and then cast them aside with what you mm -hmm. would think that they would be, you know, more than well taken care of, but that's just not mm -hmm. the case. Unfortunately, yeah, we've, no. we've, we, and we cover that and that's a shame. <clears throat> it's, it's pretty messed up that you have to do like a Peter David and do a, uh, a GoFundMe for your friggin', uh, you know, your, your very medical mm -hmm. health, your very life, uh, when you're very mm -hmm. much alive and have a family that depends on you. Um, mm -hmm. you know, never mind, you know, this, this iconic, uh, pillar of of comic book uh, history uh, that mm -hmm. I, this this is gonna cause me of course uh, I already see a couple books that I, I would be love to pick up and read on of hers uh, for sure and I wasn't even aware see this is the thing of like where mm -hmm. you can unlock uh, storylines there so I, I gotta add the Doom Patrol to mm -hmm. uh, that we might have to cover that um, if if you're game for it maybe mm -hmm. in a future show yeah that would be really cool that would be really cool mm -hmm. uh, and and of course what better way to pay homage uh, than to read the uh, the works of the author. Uh, absolutely so yeah cool 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 um yeah and this one uh, kind of sucks even worse um uh, so you you, you I, I i actually read this one too but not from vice but uh from another one but i read about mm -hmm. it and like it's very sad um that the, i it kind of blows my mind that this could happen um mm -hmm. like this but um we kind of live mm -hmm. in an era where i guess um i don't know you just keep having mental health <laughs> <laughs> I um, you say yeah, you said it was sad, uh, but I I had a laugh and um, thought of thoughts of a natural selection. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm more of a troll than you. Maybe I no, should be the bad. Well, the I, bad just, I, I, I see this from the standpoint of a parent. Uh, my parent and you, just a humanity, you know, just you humanity thing. Like I, to be honest with you, when mm -hmm. when this happens and it's like somebody famous, I tend to. Um, I tend to have a negative aversion to that person mm -hmm. and that and their and their body of work to a certain degree. Like it just kind of puts a, a pollard or, or a thing over the thing um, because it just, I, you know, it sucks. And it's uh, uh, it's just it's very abhorrent to me that this could happen. Um, but boy, we're in the era of like uh, put your uh, put your uh, your your diagnosis uh up on tiktok <laughs> <laughs> not referencing anything in particular but like i i read this and like it was just this Wait, guy had um, a wife he yeah. had a wife and kids he had uh -huh. by all accounts a semi-normal life i mean i just it kind of blows my mind that like he like would really? let an ai <laughs> talk him into killing himself for the environment yeah um yeah, 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 yeah. Would... which was even more ridiculous too like and i i don't that's where I draw the mm -hmm. line of like this whole the client mm -hmm. anxiety. I don't believe that people, but I guess they do. I don't. Yeah. Whatever. And <laughs> <laughs> whatever. Um, and then this story also uh, reminded me of Isaac Asimov and his oh, robot yeah, yeah. books and his, his tenets for robot behavior uh, to, to respect human life. And, uh, I guess these AIs aren't programmed with that, and uh, maybe they should. You know, they're yeah, it, they're running roughshod. Uh, this is you know, this is how the Matrix happens. I mean, technically, <laughs> te technically, by by all rights, I mean, if you were to bring a civil case, technically speaking, this could be the very first documented historical um, AI kill. You know, mm -hmm. Skynet kill, uh, essentially. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, you could maybe make that argument. I don't know. That's very interesting from a science fiction perspective because, like. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you were if you ever kind of thought like I, I as as modern times have progressed and you you got down to like a phone, you know, like literally <laughs> the knowledge of in, the entire knowledge of mankind at your fingertips mm -hmm. um, to Star Trek, to communicators, to, you know, everything but warp <laughs> travel. Obviously, that's a little bit far fetched, but like, <laughs> it'd be great if we hit that one day. But like now we have the AI mm -hmm. uh, AI pulled it. Uh, AI drew first blood. Uh, yep. if you want to look at it from that perspective, but, um, yep. I, yeah, yeah, I, 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 I echo that. It's kind of funny that like, um, and I, I use uh, chat GPT on the side. It's very, it's very cool tool. Um, it takes whatever you have. It still makes a lot of errors actually. Um, mm -hmm. and if you don't know what you're talking about, it will make you look like a fool. <laughs> you don't know what the hell you're doing. Um, but mm -hmm. I, 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 you, you're right. I, I'm, I, I very much wonder, um, What's up with that? <laughs> like uh, <laughs> the AI, I don't know. It's it's yeah. It's got it's it'd be interesting yeah. to, to find I, uh, a sci-fi story that already. I uh, did. I bet. I uh, I I got um, 
I watched someone else's uh, podcast on on this, and um, he got he had a very very spicy take on it, and um, on on why why maybe the uh, AI did this. Um, yeah. We won't get into it here because it is extra spicy and uh, would yeah. cause some some issues with us. But I might mention to you after the podcast. Sure. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's uh, let's roll on into the next subject. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, um, and then uh, I think we're up to recommendations. Uh, All right. Week. Uh, Oh no 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 no! I'm wrong. Uh, we got uh, rumored Persona Three. Re- oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, I think last week on either our podcast or our grab bag, I mentioned my favorite game of all times, Jet Set Radio, and uh, there's rumors that they may be rebooting it. And uh, so I had to, you know, even if I'm the only one that's interested in this article, I'm going to talk about it on the grab bag. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> yeah, but anyway. Uh, from what I could tell, um, I watched uh, Spawn. Spawn Wave did a uh, a news uh, news thing on it, and he said that what's probably happened is that internally uh, at Sega, uh, someone probably did a um, a pitch to do a reboot of uh, Jet Set Radio. So the video footage that they have is probably uh, that presentation. Uh, and it, it appears to have been from 2021. So either they pitched it and nothing's going on, or they've pitched it and they've been working on a remake. So I'm crossing my fingers, hoping that they uh, they bring back bring it back and are just kind of keeping it uh, low key until they're ready to announce it uh, once it's closer to being done. Uh, but yeah, I'm I'm very interested. Uh, they'll probably. Uh, if they are doing it, they're probably ruining it. But uh, but uh, I, I I love it also for its um, the, the I think it was the first one that had uh, that cell shading uh, type of effect where it looked like kind of like a cartoon, and I, I just absolutely love that. With, especially I also love Borderlands for its visual style of that that kind of cell shaded uh, look to it. Um, but yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, the uh, uh, I. I'm gonna have to uh, find an emulator and download it and try to play that uh, mm-hmm. if I can. I, I know that's a, that'd be fun to uh, do. Of course, legally speaking, legally so, yes. <laughs> yeah, pay pay for it somewhere. Somewhere I'm sure you can do that. But mm-hmm. anyway, uh, moving on to your recommendations this week. Uh, boy, uh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm not surprised here. I'm not surprised. Uh, but go on. Uh-huh. Uh, Goose Boos. Uh, it's uh, he's an interesting individual. Uh, he has a very a very cool speaking voice. I, I like it. Uh, but yeah, he does. He kind of does investigations on weird things on uh, on the interwebs. Uh, he's <laughs> the one that I just uh, watched um, recently. Uh, I don't see it there. Um, is um, maybe scroll down a little bit um maybe it was a few months back yeah i think it was almost like yeah that one right there um it's uh the the gilbert uh garfield <laughs> arg all right. uh, all right. arg stands for alternate reality game okay. uh which is um basically it, the components of it is that there's a there's usually like a video element video element where you get clues and you also can get clues from real life if you go to certain locations uh but but basically uh this is an arg it's about a a lost episode of the garfield cartoon but if it was in an alternate reality where uh it was uh, a, a combination of gilbert godfrey and garfield the cat so you okay. have this weird looking Garfield that looks a little bit like Gilbert Godfrey that sounds like Gilbert Godfrey. Oh man. And so the this guy's like trying to uncover this lost episode and it gets very bizarre <laughs> obviously. Uh and um uh so he finds it he, he shows you in real life he, hey I found this this videotape with this lost episode. That's uh crazy. and then there's like references to uh, real life locations like a winery um, I don't think the the full story's been told yet, but uh, but yeah, it's very bizarre. And uh, Goose Goose Boos, uh does these weird investigations on these oddities on the internet. Um, and uh, <laughs> there's there's also another video where he looks at um, this guy Sammy Ways, 
who who draws every day the same uh, portrait of a of a person. Oh, I think wow. it's up towards the top there. Um, I, I want you to maybe go into that video and kind of look at uh, some of those those videos. Uh, maybe do a search for Sammy Way on this. Oh yeah, that's it. Okay, yeah. If it, and he starts off, he has like a a deviant art site where when he first starts posting his artwork, which weren't always that that portrait, the art looked like it had some style to it, and as it progressed, the uh, finer art of his art kind of loses its way and gets more deconstructed as it goes. Uh, but yeah, if you kind of skip ahead, you might see, so I think he goes through like, um, yeah, he has a fascination with uh, kind of a, yeah. Yeah. Does he, does he? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, and uh, there's not much known about this person, this individual. Um, I think he's posted that his favorite movies uh, Blade Runner, and he likes to read the Holy Bible. Um, okay. <laughs> so there's not much to, that you that, that's known about this person. It's just an interesting um, thing to kind of think about. And uh, uh, the guy uh, Goose Boose is very respectable or respected, respective of the person. He doesn't, mm. um, you know, uh, he he doesn't automatically go to this guy's schizophrenic or you know has mental right. problems. Uh, he, he he does he does kind of question what's going on with this individual, sure. but he does it he does it in a very res respective way, so that uh, I, I know some people on the U on YouTube can get kind of spicy and kind of lambast people and uh, say bad things about them, but um, but yeah, he's he's kind of goes to it through uh, kind of what's 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 going on with this guy uh, kind of perspective. Uh, it's um, and again I. <laughs> Kind of looking at the art, you kind of chuckle at the start, but then you start. I don't know. There's there's something captivating that keeps you looking at it. But you know, why is this person so obsessed with doing this portrait every single day for years? Right, right, right. Yeah, that uh, humans are strange creatures, and you just don't know. Uh, but uh, <laughs> you can gaze from afar. I'll have to check it out uh, for sure. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Ch check out. Uh, yeah, there's. There, I'm sure there's something interesting for everybody there. He likes. He kind of goes on the creepy side. He does look at uh, various ARGs. Uh, but yeah, just kind of look through and check the description. See if uh, something is interesting for you. Uh, again, if you're uh, kind of on the. Uh, you don't like to be scared side and uh, anything and everything kind of creeps you out. You might not want to look at the page, but, <laughs> but uh, he has very uh, interesting thumbnails too. So <laughs> he definitely has, uh, he's got the touch for sure. They uh, stand out uh, even though they're all, the, all a pattern, but yeah, that's mm -hmm. funny. That's funny. Yeah. I'll have to check that out later. Like uh, I like that kind of stuff. Uh, and then I was going to, I really only had one uh, YouTube. I've recommended this before, but this actually got me, uh, kind of pushed me over the edge into um, checking out certain storylines. Um, one was Gate, uh, Gateway, or excuse me, Gate, um, which I kind of sort of talked about a little bit, um, but I ended up watching. Um, mm -hmm. and, and it was a very entertaining, light romp. It's not the greatest anime ever, um, but it was, mm -hmm. it was kind of like uh, Stargate, but for fantasy. But anyway, I watch the, this is kind of the same thing for like video games, right? So like, uh, I don't, I'm not going to buy a whole bunch of video games. And if I buy it, it's something I'm really interested in, but more often than not, I've already seen the gameplay that caused me to go get the game. Um, mm -hmm. and this is kind of the same genre. Like I I've seen a couple different, um, you know, uh, anime, uh, recaps here, um, that were like, mm -hmm. okay, now that I, I kind of have like a primer for the story. I won't finish watching this the because he'll cover the entire friggin' storyline <laughs> if you let him. Um, mm -hmm. But if I hear just enough, I'm like, okay, you know what? I want to see that. I want to go watch it, and search mm -hmm. it, track it down. So, um, if you're newer to anime, it's a very cool way to kind of drop in and like know something. Mm -hmm. If you have a, a and, and you don't you don't go into detail. You just like if it's a thumbs up or thumbs down. If you're interested or not, it's very simple. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I like that to to do. It. But anyway, yeah. rotating out to your comic book. Pick of the week. Um, this is cool uh, uh, that you recommended this one. Um, yeah, this is pretty new. Uh, I take it. Yeah, it's a return of um, 007. I think it's being put out by Dynamite. Um, there was a 
a couple of years back, there was another 007 comic book okay. uh, that was famously disliked uh, by the fans because it was, um, it had li very little to do with 007. And when he was involved in the comic book, he was very ineffectual. It was his uh, co agent, which was a strong female character, uh, that led the comic book. And someone that was reading. A 007 comic book, I think, are more interested in James Bond than anyone else uh, you don't in the say. series. Yeah, so <laughs> so they, they that's wacky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so so the um, they've brought in uh, Joshua Kennedy to write it. He uh, famously is doing the uh, Kennedy Johnson. Yeah, Philip Kennedy Johnson. He's he's currently doing the fan favorite run on Superman on action comics uh, hmm. that I talked about. Uh, so he knows how to do a superhero uh, in, uh, so maybe he could do an agent. This comes out um, this Wednesday, so uh, we put it out on Wednesday. So it comes out today. So I haven't read it yet. Uh, but yeah, uh, I was just going to put it out there. If you're a, a big 007 fan, I think uh, the writer has a good track record. So this this could be a recommend for you. All right. Either, either as a single, you know, it, it come out, you know, it's coming out as single issues right now. Um, either get it collected that way and visit your comic book shop, or wait for the graphic novel collection, which I'm sure will come out later if it's a, a success. A lot of times with, uh, I know with Dynamite, they don't always do uh, graphic novel collections. Only if it's a uh, does well. Uh, for the single issues, so okay. this may be one that you might want. Uh, you would imagine 007 will, will do good, but um, this may be one you want to kind of collect as it comes out. Very cool, very cool. Yeah, I, I I am very interested in that Superman run, and I need to circle back and pick up the digital thing mm -hmm. if I can. Um, well, yep. Or uh, that's cool. I I think that brings us up to the end. I don't think we I think we covered everything. Um, mm -hmm. no matter what, um, no matter what our spicy takes are, semi spicy takes, you know, the bit, the thing is, is that, you know, I don't want to get too down on this stuff, but you know, I, uh, I, the more that's released, the better, because it always has that chance of being really good. Uh, so mm -hmm. there's always, that. well, and there's, um, I, I mentioned, uh, comics matters, um, uh, uh, take on the new star Wars thing. He made right. a very good point, uh, that I've thought about, uh, previously he said um you know what hollywood everywhere publishers comic book publishers they could just quit right now just stop uh because there's so much media that has been pumped out in the past few decades that nobody is going to be able to go through it all right. um so so and there's plenty of good stuff out there so, so, so whatever they come out with right now is sort of like a icing on the cake. Uh, but you can go back to the previous decades, like we went, we were like we watched uh, the good and the bad and the ugly. Right. You said your your kids loved the movie. Um, those those have universal appeal. Um, so there's they're always going to be uh, someone out there that, that's going to enjoy that. So, and you know, and the, there's there's this idea like when when I was growing up, everybody looked fondly on the fifties and. There was a lot of movies that took place during that. And right now, yep. it's the 80s, and it's transferring over into the 90s, this nostalgia of those times. Uh, but, yeah, there's there's plenty of stuff during that decade that's that's definitely worth worth checking out. I mean, the 80s was full, especially since videotapes started out. You know, there was all these direct-to-video things that, right. that some of them are, are really bad, but some of them are hidden gems that are just waiting to be found. So... Oh yeah. Uh, so yeah, and, and that, I think that kind of like kind of puffs open our our, our our genre a little bit more of what we cover. But like, there I, I can't. I don't know about you, but like I really enjoyed our last romp through uh, the good, the bad, the ugly, and that just goes mm -hmm. to show. I just want to echo what you say. It's very true because we, I mean we're just scratching the surface here. I mean we're not going to become mm -hmm. a classics movie thing, but you know what? Yeah. If it's relevant and it's popular and it's a legend and it's a classic, uh, you know mm -hmm. there like I. Uh, I, I uh, you know, I then you can catch some of these on Turner Classic Movies too, and on and to rent. Um, but you know, there's a the Maltese Falcon, there's Film Noir, there's North by Northwest. There's so mm -hmm. many great friggin' genres out there that are just waiting <laughs> for you. That um, there's even the uh, uh, you know, classics that are based on uh, you know, 
uh, the original, like the Ocean's uh, Ocean's Eleven, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, but the, mm -hmm. all, the, the sky's the limit, and uh, I, I, I I could see that take. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I, I don't ever want to poo-poo things too much because I'd rather something mm -hmm. exist than not. But you know, the fact mm -hmm. is, ah, it is what it is. So who knows? <laughs> yep. uh, but you you got to deliver on what you say first. <laughs> Star Wars. Yeah. Never mind what you're what you're putting out or what the quality is or isn't. Mm -hmm. um, it, 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 the quality is nothing if it doesn't get made. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, and we'll see. Yeah, you, you can have as many high high um, concept ideas as you can, but. If you don't have a story to back it up, like uh, the good, the bad, the ugly, which right. that's all it had to rely on in its characters, yep. uh, then you have nothing. Yep, uh, agreed, agreed. You have uh, you have uh, enough pile of nothing. But anyway, we are the uh, the first last nerdum. Mm -hmm. Love it if you could join us uh, every week, uh -huh. uh, and we got quite a back bit of uh, back catalog. And we thank you so much if you made it this far. Uh, yep. Like Tom. Yep. Uh, and, uh, yeah, and I know uh, we have our strong opinions, but uh, and if you have different opinions, uh, let us That's know great. in the comments down below. We appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, we love you, and again, um, you know, no matter if you call yourself the nerd herd or <laughs> a nerd dido, <laughs> let us know. Uh, but yeah, um, yeah, give us a like, subscribe if you liked us. If you didn't, just give us a dislike. We haven't got one one yet, so uh, you know. Thumbs up for us, uh, but uh, but yeah, it can't be that bad. <laughs> yeah, it can't be. That bad. <laughs> we're not exactly like uh, like we're uh, eating, uh, making your making yourself eat your veggies over here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, we're passing. We got a C plus. <laughs> yeah, we're, 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 yeah we're, I'm hoping for a B plus, maybe A. <laughs> yeah. We'll yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll we'll see you later. Yep. See ya.